doing everybody a little EDC video for you now as you saw in the description in the picture you're gonna see a bunch of different bags the reason why I am doing this is two reasons one to show you you might need more than one bag to carry your stuff number one number two if you've been checking out the news lately and if you live in an area where they do so there's a lot oh got a little mark from the beard thing over there anyway so it doesn't hurt the beard thing if you watch the beard video anyway so a lot of smashing out windows and taking stuff out of cars so be vigilant first and foremost be vigilant where you park be vigilant what is visible in your car because they will look in your car i have first-hand experience with that that they do basically they do is smash out the window and take the car not only or take not take the car but take the bags out not only it's annoyance because one your window's busted out you got to get home or whatever if you're not at home and you gotta drive with the window all smashed out but also your stuff's gone and you know edc guys you know we all like to leave this stuff in the car you know i almost forgot and over there hit that subscribe so you can get more info like this anyway so fellas i know we like to leave our bob bags our get home bags or one that you know hits the fan bags whatever but it is getting harder and harder to leave stuff in your car i don't leave much in my car other than a tool set and some air stuff i'll carry a, a bag with me but i want to have some stuff with me and i don't leave anything in the car so i have a little bag with you to carry your you know your cell phone your wallet if you don't want to keep it in your pockets and you know i gotta do an edc pocket dump soon i haven't done one in a while and some stuff changed so i gotta do one of those anyway getting off track there carry something on you and not only be vigilant of what you're carrying on you be vigilant how you're carrying it so that is not easy to get to i have a couple of different bags here but before we get into that like i said i have first-hand experience no no one smashed out my window. I am still have a full car with a full window, whatever you want to call it. Number one, if you don't have coverage, it's expensive. If you do have the proper coverage, coverage it's still a pain in the ass because you got to go get it fixed. And it's, it's, I know they come to your job and all that, but it still is an annoyance and you lose your stuff. But... Not only do you not want to lose your stuff, but it's also a factor of keeping the temptation down, I guess you would say. And when I say I have first-hand experience, like I said, I didn't have my window broken, but in our driveway, we have, I mean, along the whole house, we have cameras with motion detectors. So if you come in, I'm going to know. <laughs> and somebody came in and they tried both cars in the driveway. They tried all the doors and they put a flashlight in to see what was inside. Luckily, that was one of the days I didn't leave my bag in there. And my bag in the back, the car was parked too close to the garage, so they couldn't get a good look in the back. So, But that bag's not in there anymore. So if you're thinking about coming back, <laughs> it's not in there. Um, but please don't smash out my windows. Nothing is in there. Okay, please. Anyway, so don't leave the temptation there. Make sure... Yeah, take your stuff with you. That's what I'm talking about here. So, you have a little bag, you know? You don't need something big. It has a couple of spots for your cards, for your phones, for your cables. You got a little thing for your thing, for your little uh, keychains and stuff like that. I was carrying this for a while when we went on vacation. I had this with me. That's a cool little bag. And I've shown the bag before. That's why I'm not showing too much. I'm just trying to give some advice here more so than anything. If you, that's kind of a little hanging, little shoulder type thing, this is more a lines of a kind of miniature messenger bag. That again has little pockets and the whole nine, so you're good to go with that. It doesn't look too tactical. Tactical it looks kind of cool. Now, if you want to be a little more sophisticated, if you will, or just like you're getting dressed up, or you know. You don't want kind of like a knapsacky type thing. And backpacks serve purposes as well for this. You can go kind of with something like this. 
It's a little nylon coach bag. It looks a little better if you're gonna do some, if you're doing some business stuff. Really nice zippers. You got the pocket over here. You got your little magnets over here. The bag's had done its paces, if you will, so it's not completely clean and unscathed, if you will. You got a little zipper pocket in front. You got your little admin stuff right here for your pens and stuff like that. You got your little, in here, little pouch. And it's quite a, I got a little thing in there from the last time I used it. So, you can get a messenger bag like that. Now, if you're carrying your tablet, your, what do you call them? Um, shoot. The, not the tablets. The, the, it's not a laptop either. The, um, Chromebooks, like. That's what we'll call it now. A nice little pouch. It's got a little handle here. Or you can hold it like this. You got a nice little pouch in front. It doesn't have an admin pouch. It has this nice silky little material inside. It has this nice, nice fluffy little cloth inside here. So you can just pop everything in there. You're good to go. It has protection on it. And you can carry your stuff which you don't ever leave your laptop or tablet in the car especially in a visible area because they will break your window for that i seen one video on tiktok where they broke the car for groceries so be very vigilant of where you park what you have in your car that's my best advice of all i don't carry my tablet with me very often unless i have to do something so you're not gonna i'm not gonna have that bag on me that often Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. We use our phones for just about everything anyway. This is the bag I've been carrying for the most part on my person. I have another bag I use for work. I just take the stuff out of there and put this when I'm not working. I dump, dump it in here. It does take a little bit of time, but it's better than not having stuff to charge your phone and a whole nine with you. And this has served its purpose. It's got a nice little, like, over here. Oh, that's in here. You got a nice little front pouch over here. You got your little... And you've seen me do reviews on this peg. So if you want to go back and check it out a more in-depth view. So you got a little thing right there. I don't have headphones in here. No, it's in the shape of a headphone. I have my um, charger in here. So I'll pull it out there and I can charge on the go. I did it when we went to on vacation and stuff. And we were going to amusement park. So, you know, when you're walking around, you don't have a place to charge your phone. I have my bag with me. It does have little things in front here. I don't really use them that much. It has another pocket here. This is what it's really good for. It has a lot of pockets. Now, it didn't have a keychain thing in here. I sewed that in myself because I like to have a little keychain loop in here. It has another pocket, another pocket, another pocket. And it also has a pocket if you're a CCW and you could put something in there. I don't live place where you can do that, so I don't do that. Um, you have some more over here. You have your big D-rings on the back so you can switch to either side. You can sh carry it on either or side or you could take this. You can kind of fold it in and you can just use the little thing right here. So this is what I've been using since all these incidents have been happening and it has happened in my area. Not as much as other areas, but we do have incidents with it. So. Like I said, make sure you don't leave anything valuable on the seats, on the floor. Anything where somebody can take a flashlight, especially in the dark more so than the day. It happens more at night than during the day. Although, when I saw the people smash out the car video, the car, the video with the car window being smashed out for groceries, it was during the day. So, hey, <laughs> I guess they just walked by and saw groceries. I mean, how much could you spend on groceries? Like, you're going to steal people's food? It's pretty messed up. Anyway, but like I said, we have cameras. We have security stuff. So I, I knew when they were doing it, I came out. They were on their way. So, you know, I got an alert on the phone. We know when stuff like that happens. Like I said, the whole house has cameras around it. So it's pretty hard to get around the house without us knowing it. It's not impossible, I guess, but pretty hard. So... 
be very vigilant don't leave stuff on your seats don't leave stuff on your dashboard don't leave those expensive sunglasses out there where people can see them don't leave anything even in those goofy little sunglass holders and don't leave good sunglasses in those sunglass holders it gets really hot and it can ruin the sunglasses so don't do that either anyway and in the back of your car especially if you have an suv and you can see in the back don't leave the stuff out people it's just too tempting be vigilant of everything this is my little public service announcement and my little trying to help everybody out so hopefully you keep vigilant of the situation and keep yourself safe and your family and like always people have a great great day